All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the equation x squared minus x to the power of three is equal to 12. So to start, our only variable is x in this equation. So I wanna find the value of x. And for my solution, I'm gonna first start by rewriting 12 as four plus eight. So I get x squared minus x to the power of three is equal to four plus eight. And the reason I did that was because four is the same thing as two squared and eight is the same thing as two to the power of three. So notice I have a number squared minus a number to the power of three and then I have a number squared plus that same number to the power of three. Now I'm gonna subtract two squared on both sides and two to the power of three on both sides. So then these two cancel out, these two cancel out, and I get x squared minus x to the power of three minus two squared minus two to the power of three is equal to zero. Now I'm gonna group all the powers of threes and the powers of twos together. So I get x squared minus two squared minus x to the power of three plus two to the power of three is equal to zero. So if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So x squared minus two squared is gonna equal x plus two times x minus two. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of three plus b to the power of three, this is gonna equal a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. And these two properties are really important in algebra, so I would recommend memorizing them. So now I get x plus two times x minus two minus x plus two times x squared minus two x plus four is equal to zero. Now notice how both of these terms have x plus two in them. So if I factor out x plus two, I get x plus two times x minus two minus x squared minus two x plus four is equal to zero. And this turns into x plus two times x minus two minus x squared plus two x minus four is equal to zero, which equals to x plus two times negative x squared plus three x minus six is equal to zero, which turns into x squared minus three x plus six is equal to zero. Sorry, it's not. This is still negative x squared plus three x minus six is equal to zero. Now from here, I'm gonna, this gives me two equations. X plus two is equal to zero and negative x squared plus three x minus six is equal to zero. So for x plus two equals zero, I can subtract two on both sides and I get x is equal to negative two. Now for negative x squared plus three x minus six is equal to zero. <clears throat> now I can divide both sides by negative one. So I get x squared minus three x plus six is equal to zero. So now to solve this quadratic equation, I can use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four ac all over two a. So I get three plus or minus the square root of nine minus four times one times six all over two a so two times one which is equal to three plus or minus the square root of nine minus 24 over two which is equal to three plus or minus the square root of negative 15 over two which is equal to three plus or minus the square root of 15 i over two so these are two other solutions to my equation. 
All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the expression 200 squared minus 199 squared. And to solve this, I'm actually gonna be using three different methods. So make sure to stick out for all three of them to find out which method is the easiest for you. So for method one, what I'm first gonna do is rewrite 200 squared as 199 plus 1 squared. So now I get 199 plus 1 squared minus 199 squared. And from here, I can use an algebraic property that states that if I have something in the form a plus b squared, this is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So 199 plus 1 squared, I'm going to write as 199 squared plus 2 times 199 times 1 plus 1 squared. And at the end, I have minus 199 squared. And now this is equal to, you can cancel these two out, 2 times 199 times 1 plus 1 squared. And 2 times 90, 199 times 1 is the same thing as 2 times 199. And 1 squared is the same thing as 1. So I have 2 times 199. And this is going to equal 398. And I have this plus 1, which is equal to 399. So my answer is 399. And that was method one. Now for method two, I have 200 squared minus 199 squared. And now I'm gonna rewrite 199 as 200 minus one squared. So now I get 200 squared minus 200 minus one squared. And A minus B squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So 200 minus 1 squared is going to equal 2 times 200 times 1 plus 1 squared. And this is equal to 200 squared minus 400 plus 1. And this is equal to 200 squared minus 399. And remember, we have 200 squared minus all of this. So I get 200 squared minus 200 squared minus 399, which is equal to 200 squared minus 200 squared plus 399, because we distribute the negative. And these two cancel out, so all I'm left with is 399. Now, finally, for my third and final method, I have 200 squared minus 199 squared. And this time, I'm not going to change these two. I'm just going to directly use the algebraic property that states that a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So this turns into 200 plus 199 times 200 minus 199. Now 200 plus 199 is equal to 399. And 200 minus 199 is simply just equal to 1. So I get 399 times 1. And obviously, anything times 1 is itself. So this just results in 399. And this method was probably the easiest one, just because it took the least amount of time and the least amount of steps. But thank you for watching. And please make sure to subscribe and leave a like.